हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शिल्पास क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड लव टू डू आर्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द बेसिक स्ट्रोक्स इन पेंटिंग ऑल द बेसिक थिंग्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड व्हेन यू स्टार्ट पेंटिंग ओके फॉर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू मेक दिस प्रैक्टिस शीट where you have to make these horizontal lines as you can see on my sheet so first of all you have to leave a gap of half a centimeter draw the horizontal line then take a gap of 3 centimeters again and so on the things that will require today will be a color palette like this which has different sections poster colors or tube water colors in these sections you need to take out the color with the brush so today we'll be learning how you have to hold a brush how you have to take the color what are the basic strokes of flat brush round brush okay after the palette you will need a water container Okay now let's see how to hold the brush you have to hold it from the silver part of your brush okay this is the silver part make sure that the brush that you use all the bristles are together okay if the bristles are scattered then you need to use a new brush all right and now see how you have to hold the brush you need a container yeah i was just dipping this uh, brush into the water to see my bristles are correct or not the all the bristles should be together when you dip it into the water and it should form like a tip okay and you will need this type of container for washing the brushes yes this type of rough cloth to clean the brushes to clean extra amount of water from the brushes now we have to see how to hold the brush i'll be showing you how to hold the brush what are the basic strokes okay you have to keep the brush in upright position hold it from the silver part okay give the support of the thumb hold it between your middle finger and index finger and give the support of your thumb like this now yes see this is the movement of the brush when you apply it on the sheet okay for the strokes never ever rub your brush you have to apply the brush from top to bottom from left to right this is the color now you have to take this out in the palette always whenever you dip your brush only the bristles should get the color okay not the handle do not let the color come on the handle okay and if it does you need to clean the brush before you start painting okay otherwise what will happen it will become very messy okay so like this you will take out the colors the colors are creamy and these are water colors so we need to add Two to three drops of water in the color to make it ready to use. You can't use the creamy color directly. Okay, you have to add water. Depends upon the thickness. Sometimes the color is too thick. Sometimes it's not so thick. So you have to see. By doing only, you will come to know that how much is required. Normally, two to three drops are enough. You have to mix it well. with the brush and now this color is ready to be used i have taken dark blue color you can take any color because this is just a practice session but this is very very important like for example for keeping the body fit we do exercise for doing good painting you have to practice these strokes these are really really important for doing good neat painting okay so every time you do you have to take color in the brush hold it in the upright position start from the upper line 
so this the first stroke is thin lines the first stroke will be thin lines so start from the top take only the tip of the brush hold it in upright position and drag down towards the the bottom line from top to bottom just touch and drag it like this like this okay see touch the upper line take it to the bottom line only the tip only the tip part of your brush give it a feather touch when you apply the strokes this stroke is very very important especially when you do fine detailing of your painting for the fine details we need to hold the brush like this and the lines will be very thin okay so this we have to do in straight line then slanting line towards the left to right side and then right to left side so all these three sides you have to practice all the strokes that i'm going to show you today you have to do one page every day before you start your actual painting practice this is very important you should practice it one page every day so this was the first stroke now let's move on to the second stroke the second stroke we have to take the color in the same way but it will be point dab and point okay you have to first keep the brush lifted in the upright position then slowly dab the bristles and drag down as soon as you reach the middle of your space that you have to color <coughs> you have to start lifting it up and rotate to make the tip again so the brush stroke is point dab and point you will see soon here how you have to do it all the strokes that we do are you know uh, inspired from the shape of the petals and this point dab and point stroke is inspired from the shape of a sunflower the petal of a sunflower so when you make the stroke you have to visualize the shape of the flower yes now we are moving on to the next stroke as i have explained that you have to take the color in the same way if you feel that the color is dry you can add another drop of water in it again hold the brush in the upright position drag down dab the bristles and then twist roll the brush and make the tip again visualize the shape of a sunflower petal and make the shape these strokes are really helpful in doing even freehand painting the main flower patterns also we make using these strokes so this is very important these strokes help you in actual painting also in lot of other ways you will know when you will do my classes that how in different ways these strokes are so helpful now we did the straight line and now we have to like we did in the first stroke you have to do in slanting line you can either go from top to bottom or bottom to top that doesn't matter okay either from the lower horizontal line to the upper horizontal line or from the upper horizontal line to the lower horizontal line like this every time you take the color you have to see that your brush 
is in the right position all the bristles are together okay and when you take the color you have to remove excess color on the side of your palette so these are some paintings that we did using the techniques that you will learn in the classes this is a koi fish painting very beautiful this this was we did on father's day this is a tribal contemporary tribal art this is a seascape that's a rainy day that was done on halloween that is for music lovers a waterfall then this we did for thanksgiving ganesha that's a light a vintage light beautiful vintage light yeah and that's a forest a deep dark forest yes and this is secret garden painting alice in the wonderland inspired from alice in the wonderland that is a key the scene is visible through the key through the keyhole now we have to get back to the strokes that we were learning oh so that this is the use of the stroke i was telling you that you have to keep use these strokes for making flower patterns like this so here we did dab and point this is the third stroke that we are going to learn which is used in this pattern now let's get back to the practice yes now we'll do the third stroke for the stro third stroke same color we are taking and now you have to again same position hold it in upright position now you have to first dab and then point just dab drag it down twist a little bit and like this from top line to the bottom line dab and point okay simply first press and then point the earlier was point dab and point you can see the difference in the shape also the earlier shape was inspired from the petal sunflower and this one daisies and asters so you can uh, understand the difference between both the shapes <coughs> this stroke is inspired from asters and daisies okay you got it now vertical and then slanting also that your hand is comfortable in all the directions that's why we do straight line left side right side so that our hand is comfortable from all the sides when we are painting slowly drag down and touch the bottom line with the point of the brush like this again let's see again tap and point okay once you have practiced you have practiced well you can do it quickly also you can move your brush quickly also start with the slow strokes and then you can just do it very quickly after this we'll learn the next stroke the next stroke will be <clears throat> it's called either a c stroke or a comma stroke where you have to make the brush and it is inspired from the third stroke it is the combination of third stroke and the c stroke you need to dab the brush and then turn it into a c shape okay you will just see this in a while in the next stroke actually this is a real class video so this the, the the time that you see is because the the child the, the kids are doing on the other side so i have given them time to do it first i am showing and then they are doing
yes now let's come up with the fourth stroke of round brush only in the fourth stroke same color same brush the third stroke combination of third stroke and the C you have to move in the C shape first dab and point and turn it into a curved line like this okay now this will be in two parts left side and right side because it's a curved stroke so you have to first do from left to right and then from right, right to left like this this one is inspired from the asters you have seen asters so this is inspired from the flower asters Now let's move on to the next stroke. It's called S stroke. Now this is inspired from the second stroke where we did point, dab and point. So when you make S, you have to start with the point. When you twist the brush in the shape of S, you need to dab and immediately lift it up as you reach the bottom. Like this. As you can see, I'm showing the way of making the S stroke. This stroke is very very important again for making the petals, for making leaves, especially the leaves. Okay, for making the leaves, grass. Okay, this is called S stroke. Point, twist while dabbing the brush and again point point dab and point but you have to twist twist into s shape like this so these are the five main strokes of round brush after this we'll be learning how to use a flat brush flat brush is mainly used for doing the backgrounds for example when we are making a landscape we need to do the sky sea okay and sometimes in the bigger areas we use flat brush so that our work is done easily and quickly so it's a very very helpful and beneficial brush a flat brush it also comes in different sizes from one from zero number to uh, any uh, like 10 12 number uh, brushes are available in flat but normally we use number three flat brush and number six and number nine so this one i'm showing is number three flat brush okay so this brush is also uh, useful in writing letters for example you're doing any school project and you have to write the title you can use this brush easily you can freehand write the words 
with the help of the strokes that we learn if you know how to use the flat brush holding a flat brush is little different from the round brush as you can see the shape so you have to keep the flat part towards the sheet okay and sometimes we use the side part also that also you will learn in further classes right now I'm just showing you simple flat brush strokes straight line slanting line again C stroke and S stroke all the strokes that we did in the round brush can be done with the flat brush as well same color we're taking I'm adding another drop of water because of the fan sometimes the color dries and becomes thick so you need to add another drop of water before you start taking the color again okay remove extra color on the side like this now the brush is ready to use again you have to see if the bristles are scattered then don't use the brush okay now first we have to do the simple basic straight lines keep the flat portion on the top line and drag it down in straight line downwards towards the bottom line like this first it will be vertical lines then slanting lines in both the directions left to right and right to left like this make slanting lines now make the lines on the other side slanting lines again using number three flat brush for this stroke now in the flat brush also we will do C stroke and S stroke yes now we are going to make the C stroke start with the side of the brush drag in curve line like this C keep making the C C shape point start with the point drag down curve line make curve line it's so soothing and relaxing to do these strokes if you know the right way of doing it the your work becomes very easy you can easily do your school projects or any other work that you want to do if you know how to use the brushes different sizes of the brushes now the next one will be S stroke after the C stroke the next will be S stroke when you went to school you were first taught lines basic lines for example straight line slanting line curve line why because when we learn alphabets all these lines are used so see I'm showing how you can do the strokes with the flat brush the S stroke you can do with the flat brush also okay so before you could learn the alphabets you learned the lines in school right when you went to the nursery class so here in painting also we also first teach lines basic lines then you can do anything from writing alphabets to words to making beautiful paintings all is for everything the basic is these basic strokes it's very very important and one more thing even if you are not able to do it in your first attempt like I am showing 
don't lose hope it is it is just like when you first try to do any exercise first time you may not be able to touch your toes but when you do it every day after few days you are able to touch your toes same way happens with painting if you continuously try to do one thing if on first day you may not be able to do the way i am showing but gradually with continuous practice you will be able to do it in the same way and it is going to helpful it will be really helpful for you in doing in making paintings okay now that's it for today after this i will be showing the basic techniques of shading okay bye see you next time